How are research participants protected? A presentation guide for rare disease patient community. These are the topic highlights we'll be going over in this presentation. There are multiple safeguards set in place to protect the rights and safety of research participants in clinical trials. These include government agencies, institutional review boards, as well as data safety monitoring boards. Clinical trials are run by medical professionals who are required to follow these regulations to ensure participants are safe. Here, we see the key players involved in a clinical trial. These include the sponsor, Food and Drug Administration, Institutional Review Board, Data Safety Monitoring Board, as well as research study staff and research participants. Did you know that it can take at least 10 years for a promising treatment to reach the marketplace from initial discovery? Let's take a look at the drug development and approval process. Research for a new drug begins in the laboratory. Researchers identify a promising treatment and perform initial testing on the nature of the drug. Then, treatment undergoes animal testing for safety and toxicity also known as preclinical research. If treatment shows to be promising and reasonably safe to use in humans, the FDA permits the treatment to be tested on people for safety and effectiveness. Once the treatment goes through a series of phases in clinical trial and is deemed to be safe, the FDA reviews the submitted data for market approval. Lastly, once a treatment is approved to be marketed, the FDA still continues to monitor the treatment for long-term safety, also known as post-market safety monitoring. Next, let's take a look at some of the regulations involved in clinical trials. The FDA, or Food and Drug Administration, is a federal agency that oversees clinical research studies to protect the safety and well-being of research participants. The FDA is in charge of approving a new treatment drug for research in humans and makes the decision to approve the drug for market. FDA regulations of clinical trials starts when a sponsor or organization in charge of the study submits an investigational new drug application to the FDA for approval to administer treatment to humans. This IND application proposes treatment is promising and reasonably safe for initial use in humans. The IND requests for information such as treatment data from lab testing, manufacturing information, as well as research study outline and researcher qualifications. It is important to note that the IND application submission is the first step before beginning a clinical trial or a research study on people. You may have heard of the term IRB before when reading or talking about research. 
An IRB, or Institutional Review Board, is a committee that reviews the research protocol or outline of a study for approval before any research can begin. Once a treatment drug is approved by the FDA for testing in humans, it must go through individual IRB review process. An IRB has the authority to approve, request modifications, or disprove a research study to protect the research participants. It is important to note that all research activities that involve human participants require an IRB review. Here is a visual of what an IRB committee looks like. An IRB committee consists of at least five members that include scientists, non-scientists, and community members to provide different expertise in reviewing and approving the research study. Another form of oversight in clinical trials is the DSMB, or Data Safety Monitoring Board. A Data Safety Monitoring Board is an independent advisory group of scientists who closely monitor clinical trials. A DSMB is not only critical to ensure the safety of participants, but this group also assesses study operations, credibility of research and study data to make modifications or recommendations if needed. A DSMB is mandatory for phase 3, or last phase of trials, as well as early trials with multiple sites and or those that pose risk to participants. Here are some of the items reviewed by the Data Safety Monitoring Board, or DSMB. Clinical trials are run by medical professionals who are required to follow the federal and local regulations. A team of a research study staff usually includes the principal investigator, or the PI, a medical doctor with expert in both the condition and treatment being studied. The PI is the primary individual responsible for the conduct of the trial and the compliance of regulations. The co-investigator or sub-investigator is a doctor and a key personnel who collaborates and supports the PI to ensure research project is safe and complies with ethical regulations. The research study coordinator is the point of reference for participants. He or she manages the daily operations of a clinical trial while maintaining confidentiality and protection of research participants. Another term you may have heard when reading or talking about research is the informed consent process. What exactly is the informed consent? An informed consent plays an important role to protect the rights and safety of research participants. An informed consent is not just a form, but is a process where research staff informs or educates a research participant about a research study to make a voluntary decision to participate. An informed consent process surrounds continuing exchange of information between the research staff and participant. It is important to note that one cannot participate in a research study without being informed and giving a consent. An informed consent will include the purpose of the study, study procedures or course of action, the study length or how long the study will take. It will include risks, benefits, privacy and confidentiality measures, compensation for participation, if any, research funding, voluntary participation, contact information, as well as the signature and consent section. Lastly, without people participating in clinical trials, 
medical treatments will never make it to market. Let's take a look at some of the responsibilities of a research participant. Read the consent form completely. Ask as many questions about the study before participating. It's very important to understand and weigh the possible benefits and risks of the study. Consult your doctor, family, or friends before making a decision. In addition, report to research study staff with any questions or concerns pertaining to the study. Lastly, every research participant has the right to withdraw from a research study at any time, without penalty. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you may email us at mgnet at gw.edu, or you can visit our website at www.rarediseasesnetwork.org mgnet for more contents.